Hey guys, welcome to Gearhead. So today we've got a really stupidly easy project we're doing. It's gonna take no time at all, but uh, I think it's more about just kind of a review and showing how it looks. Uh, we've got these smoked um, signal lights for the front of the car. Uh, at least in my opinion, I think Miatas look a lot cooler with something different in the signal areas there. Uh, turn signal intakes look cool, but a lot of times they actually raise the temperature under the hood of the car because you're blowing air through. And what's that to do, or what that's doing is creating more air pressure under the hood area, allowing less air to go through the radiator and fill that space. So I know that's something people debate about a lot, but I feel like I like the look of these smoked ones. They're not expensive. I bought it on eBay for like, I think $45 or $42 or something. So they're not expensive. And my stock ones, uh, they're not cracked, but they fill it with condensation all the time. So you come out and look at it and it's like they're all fogged up or whatever. But I think these will look a lot cooler, especially with the darker car because the, the white like faded ones on the front of the black car don't look that great. Not that my paint looks good and the car looks good anyway, but <laughs> I think it'll at least the help a little bit. Good. It's a step <laughs> yeah. in the right direction. There you go. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so all you need is a screwdriver. We're just going to take out these two screws holding the turn signal in. So at this point, you can just unscrew this and put on a new, the new assembly, but the new ones here came with the new bowl and wire, so we're going to go ahead and swap the whole thing. So at this point, you do need to open your hood and open up your headlights, because the connector is down here and it's popped into the frame. All right, so for this, uh, the old one has a, a squeeze connector just like this. Um, normally you just like squeeze them and then they'll pop out, but we can't get access to it below. So what we're going to do is stick a screwdriver in on one side and the little pry bar on the other and try and wrench it out. But a lot of the times these things break and they're so old that it's just brittle plastic at this point. It might break, but at this point it's not a big deal because we have a new one right here ready to go. All right, so now I'm gonna unplug it. Look, notice I did break it. All right, so I'm not sure if all of them do, but these ones came with new screws and they're screwed in all the way. There's threads in here, so you wanna unscrew them so that you can uh, get them into the screw holes on there. All right, so now that those are backed out, we're gonna feed this through right here. Good to go. All right, well that's how you install smoked signal lamps. Uh, it's the same process if you want to install turn signal intakes, but like I said, uh, all that air rushes past them behind the radiator and lets less air through the front. If you live somewhere cold and you like the look, there's nothing wrong with them, but we do live somewhere hot. I plan on pushing this car really hard and we're gonna be turboing it and everything else, so for me, it just wasn't a good idea, but I really like the way they look. I think, I think, did it that. I suck at talking, <laughs> but I think the front of the car looks a lot better. I'm happy with them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, uh, we have more videos on YouTube that you guys can go back and like, as well as we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and we really do love communicating with you guys. So use that as your outlet to get in contact with us if you guys have questions or you just want to say what's up. Other than that, don't forget, keep wrenching! <laughs>